Hi, everybody. Got a question this week from Robin. Robin saw my recent podcast and says, Hey, Mike, I see you say you switched to the Android phone. Say it's not so. What happened to the iPhone? And what are your favorite apps? Well, uh, yes, I have switched. Uh, I'm still using the iPhone. I'm using it to record this, as a matter of fact, but I have picked up this. This is the Samsung uh, S7 Galaxy Edge, the S7 Edge. And I really like it. I've tried to, uh, um, Android several times in the past and never really got into it. This time I have uh, found it to be an absolutely terrific phone. Let me show you this why. This is the screen of the Android and you can see it's kind of much like the, uh, the iPhone screen. You can put all of your apps however you want them, wherever you want them. Um, it, is, uh, it has many of the same features. I found that uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, instead of Siri, it has uh, Google as a search engine, and it kind of works like this. Okay, Google, who's the governor of Kansas? Sam Brownback is the governor of Kansas. There you go. Sam Brownback. How you doing, Sam? Uh, we can also try this one. Okay, Google, what's the weather like in Nashville? It's 71 degrees and mostly cloudy in Nashville. What's the weather going to be like in Nashville? Oh, I got to ask it. Okay, Google, what's the weather going to be like in Nashville next Saturday? Saturday's forecast for Nashville is 85 degrees and partly cloudy. That's when we'll be there. So that, that's pretty cool. Did you see how fast it is, by the way? I, I know it's a lot faster than uh, than Siri on the iPhone. So I really like that. Um, I used to have a ton of RV apps, and uh, instead I have... Uh, basically boiled them down to uh, just uh, one. I put them all in this folder here with RV stuff and uh, Allstays is the app I've used. You heard me talk about Allstays a lot and I'll go to it in a second but I do use the app around me and it's kind of neat as you're traveling around the country it will tell you what's close by. Uh, many times we're in another place and we say hey let's see if there's a movie and it will show you all of the, the theaters that are near you and, that's a pretty cool feature. So we, we like that app. I do have that. Um, I also have on there the KOA app because we camp at KOAs quite a bit. But the only app I need is that one right there. That one. Now it happens that they happen to be a brand new sponsor of my podcast. But even if they weren't, I would use this. This is All Stays. And uh, this is the uh, uh, Camp and RV app. Uh, first of all, it'll start by showing you where, you're, where you are at uh, this point in time. But you can, you can screech down the screen and it will then show you everything that is around you. Now I have added all sorts of things that I want to know. For example, I want to know where there's a gas station. I want to know where there's a state park. I want to see where the Walmart are so I'm passing. If I want to get gas, uh, uh, LP gas, I can see where that's available. All of this uh, to show me what's nearby. How well does it work? Well, let's take this one right here. Let's look at state parks, for example. Let me just click on that, and it shows me that uh, some state provincial, there's a Highland Recreation Area. This is how I often will find boondocking spots. You click on it, you can get uh, directions to it. It works out really great, no problem at all. Um, same thing with uh, with finding you know all the really cool places to stop. You just basically you know can squeeze, you can see there's the Proud Lake Recreation Area, and that tells me that there's probably some good boondocking spots there. This is the Highland Recreation Area, and there's even the State Park there. That's always good to check, and it will tell you everything that's around, and that's about 19 miles from me. So I really am enjoying this app. This is All Stays. tells you everything you want to know, shows you your route, where you are. You can find rest areas on the freeway. Uh, I've got a million of these apps and these little little uh, logos, these little icons that show me that. But that's the only app that I use, and uh, that is the Allstays app. Other than that, um, I like the pictures. I think that the photographs that they that uh, it takes is, are really incredible. It does great video. It takes uh, high quality uh, photos, uh, very high resolution photos. It's got a great camera. Um, they say it's a lot better than the iPhone. I don't know whether that's really true or not, but I do like the uh, like the uh, Android, and I have used. I've not found a single app that I have on my iPhone that I can't get on the Android platform. So there you go, Robin. I hope that answers your question with a video vlog for road trekking. I'm Mike Wendland. You can send me your questions at mike at roadtrekking.com. Thanks for watching.